Hey Brain Booster family, welcome back to our system design series. Today, we're diving into chapter 3, a framework for system design interviews from System Design Interview, an insider's guide by Alex Zhu. This chapter is all about how to tackle system design interviews like a pro. Whether you're preparing for an interview or just curious about designing scalable systems, this framework will be your best friend. What is a system design interview? Imagine you're asked to design something like Twitter, Netflix, or even a URL shortener. System design interviews test your ability to think critically, solve problems, communicate your ideas effectively. The goal is to design a system that's scalable, reliable, and efficient. The chapter introduces a four-step framework to approach system design interviews systematically. Let's go through each step. Step 1. Understand the problem and clarify requirements before designing anything, you need to understand the problem. Ask questions to clarify the scope and requirements. What are the key features? What's the expected scale, e.g., number of users, requests per second? Are there any specific constraints, e.g., latency, availability? Example, if designing a URL shortener, you might ask, how many URLs will be shortened per day? What's the read-to-write ratio? How long should the shortened URLs remain valid? Step 2. Propose a high-level design Once you understand the problem, sketch a high-level design. Think of this as drawing the blueprint of your system. Identify the main components and how they interact. Example, for a URL shortener, your high-level design might include a web server to handle requests, a database to store URL mappings, a cache to improve performance. At this stage, you're not diving into details, just outlining the big picture. Step 3. Dive into deep design now, zoom in on the critical components. Think about, how will you scale the system as it grows? How will you ensure it's reliable, e.g., handling failures? What are the trade-offs of your design choices? Example, for a URL shortener, you might dive into generating short URLs, use base 62 encoding or a distributed ID generator, handling high read traffic, use a cache, e.g., Redis, ensuring fault tolerance, use database replication and sharding. This step is all about showing you can think deeply and address real-world challenges. Step 4. Wrap up and discuss trade-offs Finally, summarize your design and discuss the trade-offs. No system is perfect, so acknowledge the limitations and explain how you'd address them in the future. Example, for a URL shortener, you might say, trade-off, using a cache improves performance but adds complexity. Future improvement, implement a distributed cache for better scalability. This step shows you're thoughtful and realistic about your design. Key components of a system design throughout the interview, you'll likely talk about these key components. Load balancer, distributes traffic across servers to prevent overload. Database, stores and retrieves data, e.g., MySQL, MongoDB. Cache, stores frequently accessed data for faster retrieval, e.g., Redis, Memcached. Message queue, enables asynchronous communication, e.g., Kafka, RabbitMQ. CDN, content delivery network, Distribute static content to servers closer to users, e.g., Cloudflare, AWS CloudFront. Microservices, breaks the system into smaller, independent services, e.g., Docker, Kubernetes. Common pitfalls to avoid the chapter also highlight some common mistakes candidates make. Not clarifying requirements, jumping into design without understanding the problem, over-engineering, designing a system that's too complex for the given requirements. Ignoring trade-offs, failing to discuss the pros and cons of your design choices. Lack of communication, not explaining your thought process clearly. Remember, the interviewer wants to see how you think, not just the final design. Example, designing a URL shortener, let's walk through an example to see the framework in action. Step 1, understand the problem clarify requirements, 100 million URLs shortened per day. Read to write ratio of 10 to 1. Shortened URLs expire after one year. Step 2. Propose a high-level design components, web server to handle requests. Database to store URL mappings. Cache to improve read performance. High-level diagram, client to load balancer to web server to cache to database. 
Step 3, dive into deep design generating short URLs. Use Base62 encoding or a distributed ID generator. Handling high read traffic, use a cache like Redis. Ensuring fault tolerance, use database replication and sharding. Step 4, wrap up and discuss trade-offs trade-offs. Using a cache improves performance but adds complexity. Base62 encoding is simple but may require additional logic for uniqueness. Future improvements, implement a distributed cache for better scalability. Add analytics to track URL usage. Key takeaways use the four-step framework to approach system design interviews systematically. And that's it for chapter three. With this framework, you'll be ready to tackle any system design interview. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.